Hello, I'm Tobias Kubin-Olkoff, and I'm presenting Patch CNN DTI, a machine learning method to accurately estimate the diffusion tensor from six diffusion-weighted images with minimal training data requirements. I'd like to thank my collaborators, Ting Gong, Robert Gray, Paresh Kevnashev, and Hui Zhang. And I'd also like to thank my funding body, ESPRC. The diffusion tensor informs clinicians the scale of the tissue microstructure measurements, for example, FA, which is sensitive to the anisotropy of diffusion. The diffusion tensor also describes the directional measurements used by tractography to estimate the location of white matter bundles. For accurate estimation of the scalar measures, at least 20 diffusion-weighted images are required, and at least 30 diffusion-weighted images are required for accurate estimation of the directional measures. However, in the clinic, it is common that only six directional diffusion-weighted images are required leading to poor quality estimations of the scalar and directional measures. Machine learning models have been supposed to better estimate these micro tissue measurements. These models come in two main types, voxel wise estimation and image wise estimation. Voxel wise estimation treats each voxel as a separate data point. Each image contains hundreds of thousands of voxels. Therefore, voxel wise estimation requires few training subjects. Image wise CNNs take each subject as a separate data point. Therefore, these models are allowed to leverage local information to improve their estimation. However, they require orders of magnitude more subjects to train. Voxel-wise networks have been shown to outperform conventional fitting for scalar measures, but they have not been shown to estimate the directional measures required for tractography. Image-wise CNNs have been shown to estimate both the directional and scalar measures with higher accuracy than conventional fitting. However, the large training data set required is not clinically feasible. In this work, we present a method which estimates both the scalar microstructural tissue measures and directional properties of the diffusion tensor with high accuracy, whilst requiring only one training subject. To achieve this, we've proposed Patch CNN, which is an adaptation of the voxel-wise networks by expanding the input window to be a three by three by three kernel. This allows the networks to leverage local information to improve estimation the input window is chosen to be minimal, such that training data requirements also remain minimal. The network supports scalar and directional estimation by estimating the six independent values of the diffusion tensor. The network will only require one subject to train on. Evaluation is performed using data from the Human Connection Project. One image is used for training, whilst 12 others are used for testing. Six directional scans are simulated by finding the optimal six directional subset from the original 90 B1000 images. To show the need for using a small patch based architecture, we train a voxel wise network to compare against. Comparison with current conventional fitting is shown at six diffusion weighted images as well as 30. This is because, as I said earlier, 30 diffusion weighted images is considered the minimum number required for accurate estimation of the directional measures. Here, results are shown of estimating the scalar measures. Patch CNN is shown to outperform all other methods at estimating the fractional anisotropy. This is shown in the top row as Patch CNN provides the most faithful reconstruction to the ground truth image in comparison to the other six directional estimations. This is also shown on the bottom row where Patch CNN provides the darkest error plot on par with that from the 30 directional conventional fitting. Voxel wise estimation does outperform the conventional fitting at six diffusion weighted images. However, not to the same extent as patch CNN. Results on estimating the directional measures are shown here, where we see the color encoded maps of the vector as the primary direction of diffusion, with close ups shown below. On these directional measures, yet again, patch CNN provides the most accurate estimation of the ground truth image. The similarity is strong in terms of both the color and texture of the images. In the close ups, the similarity remains strong between patch CNN and the ground truth. An example of this is in the red circles at the bottom where patch CNN estimations flow similarly to the ground truth image. In contrast, both the voxel wise machine learning and conventional fitting are not able to recreate this and have a very jaggedy profile. All of these results are backed up with quantitative measures. To conclude, we propose patch CNN, a method for estimating the diffusion tensor that is more accurate than conventional fitting and voxel-wise machine learning, and is clinically viable as it requires only one training subject. If you're interested in this work, would like to see more results or discuss the methods in more detail, then please come and chat to me at the poster session.